You love the PlayStation Vita and who can blame you? With its beautiful curvy lines and wonderfully engineered hardware, it remains a fan favorite around the world. In this video, I'm going to show you how to take your Vita gaming pleasure to the next level by emulating Vita games on your Windows-based PC. You'll get all the steps it takes to set up the Vita 3K emulator and the games and content of your choice. And we're starting now. Vita 3K is an experimental but ever-evolving emulator for PlayStation Vita and it works on Windows, Mac, and Linux. I have links in the description to tell you which commercial and homebrew games are compatible with this emulator. In this case, we'll be running it in Windows. I've got this linked for you in the description below. Scroll down on the page until you get to the Windows download and click to download the zip file, which is linked directly from the GitHub. On the same website, go to the Quick Start Guide linked in the top navigation. Scroll down on the page a bit and you'll see a Microsoft Redistributable. You're going to need to download this file in order to make this work properly, even if you're running the latest version of Windows 10. It's linked right here on the page and this is an official Microsoft download. Once the download is complete, scroll down on the same page and you'll need to download the official PlayStation Vita 3.73 firmware. You can get to it right here by clicking on the guide. It will take you to the official Sony page. This page is where they host the official firmware for PlayStation Vita. On the page, just scroll down until you get to download update and click on it to download the .pup extension file. Before you do anything with the emulator, go ahead and run the installer for the redistributable C++ file. You can run it as administrator if you have administrative privileges to the machine. Read the text on screen if you choose, click on I accept, and then click on install to install it to your computer. Once the installation is complete, click on close in the bottom right corner. Then you can delete the installer in order to eliminate clutter and confusion moving forward. Now you can uncompress the emulator file that you downloaded. It's in zip format and you can use the software of your choice to extract it. Once you have it extracted, go ahead again and delete the zip file in order to eliminate confusion and clutter moving forward. A clean downloads folder is a good downloads folder. Regardless of whether you dump your own games or download content online, these games need to be in either VPK format or zip format to work correctly. Since this is a dumped game, you'll have to grab everything in that folder and archive or zip it up in order for the game to work correctly. Make sure that you include everything that was dumped and put into the folder, and the folder should automatically be named to the same naming standard that the game was dumped into. In all fairness, I didn't see anything in the Quick Start Guide that specifically said that the folders had to be named in that game number and letter standard, but most emulators require it. Once you have the content zipped up, you can either leave it in that folder, or just to make things easier to find for purposes of demonstration, I just tend to move things over to the music folder because I don't keep any music on this computer and they're easy to find that way. Now that you know how to manage the games, go back to the downloads folder and go into the Vita 3K folder that you uncompressed. Now you can run the Vita3k.exe file. When it loads for the first time, you'll see this pop-up message with some basic information about the emulator. Click on the close button in the bottom left corner to continue. You'll be prompted to create a user account. In this case, I just used the default avatar and the default user1 ID. Click on confirm to continue, then click on OK to save the user account. Then you can click on the user account to log in. At the main interface, move the mouse pointer up until you get to the black bar here. You'll see some navigation items here. Click on File, and in the drop-down menu choices, come down to Install Firmware and click on it. If it doesn't select the Downloads folder automatically, navigate to the Downloads folder, and then select the .pup file with your PlayStation Vita firmware that you downloaded from the Sony website. You can double-click on it, or just click on Open underneath the list of files. Expect this to take several minutes as it installs in, and if you see a not responding message, leave it alone because it's still doing its thing. Just give it a couple of minutes and it will install the firmware into the emulator. Once the installation is done, it will take you back to the main interface for the emulator. To install your games to the emulator, click on File, and then come down to either install VPK if your game's in VPK format, or install VPK or ZIP if you have a ZIP file. In this case, I'm installing a ZIP file, so I've picked ZIP. Navigate to the location where your zip file is stored, and you can either double-click on the game or click on Open. Depending upon the size of your game, it should only take a few moments to install, but you'll be prompted whether or not you want to delete the content now that it's installed. I wouldn't recommend that or you won't have your ROMs anymore. Just click on OK to continue. I'm going to go ahead and plug in an Xbox 360 wired USB controller in order to play the games using a control pad rather than the keyboard. 
but you can also interact with the touchscreen functionality of the Vita using the mouse and pointer. All right, now that the game is set up and ready, let's launch Coconut Grove Revitalize. Right click and click boot to start the game. And in no time at all, you'll be up and running playing your favorite PlayStation Vita games. But don't stop there because there's a lot more great Vita content for you to explore. Check out this video here shown on screen and linked in the pinned comment and description below.